So here's my audience. Let's see if you can see everyone. So my speech is on anti-gun control. Imagine you're sitting at home one night with nothing to do. Your parents have gone away for the weekend, and there's absolutely no one around. You go to your room, get ready for bed, turn off the lights, lay down, and close your eyes. Then out of nowhere, you hear a crash of glass in your house. You rest to your feet and put your ear to the door to listen to what's going on. You start to hear two men's voices as they start going through your house, heading towards your bedroom. What are you going to do? You cannot confront them without any weapons, can you? Now, if it was my house, things would be a lot different. I would get my shotgun out and begin to see what's going on. Around, going on. As soon as the men saw me, you better believe they would think twice about sticking around any longer. That, my friends, is the effective use of gun control. The phrase gun control can mean many things. It can be a ban on specific or all types of weapons. It can be regulations prohibiting certain or all citizens from owning guns. Regardless of what it takes, gun control in the United States of America takes away your constitutional rights to own guns. The Second Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. The Second Amendment states that a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. If gun control formed, the only people who lose their right to keep and bear arms are law-abiding citizens. Criminals are just that, criminals. They do not obey the law and will not obey any gun control laws. I would like to quote John McCain. We have a responsibility to ensure that criminals who violate the law are prosecuted to the fullest rather than restricting the rights of law-abiding citizens. Gun control is proven failure in fighting crime. Now I would like to state, guns don't kill people. People kill people. If everyone believes that guns kill people, then pens misspell words, cars make people drive drunk, and silverware made Rosie O'Donnell and Kirstie Alley fat. That's liberal logic for you. <laughs> Remember, a gun is an inanimate object. It cannot think or act by itself. It's only when a criminal or such an immoral person decides to use a gun unlawfully does it become dangerous. To learn more about gun control, gun safety, and your gun rights, you can visit the National Rifle Association at www.nra.org as well as www.gunowner.com. Quoting Ronald Reagan, You won't get gun, gun control by disarming law-abiding citizens. There's only one way to get real gun control. Disarm the thugs and the criminals, lock them up, and if you don't actually throw away the key, at least lose it for a long time. It's a nasty truth, but those who seek to inflict harm are not faced by gun controllers. And then, this is how pretty much gun control will work. Crime, gun control. No, no gun. You can't protect yourself or anything. Um, in 2011, 323 people were killed by these by guns, 496 by hammers, and 650 by knives, 12,000 by drunk drivers, and 195,000 by medical malpractice. You are 600 times more likely to die by using your Obamacare than by a semi-automatic rifle. So, feel sick? And this will what this is what it'll look like to criminals. Gun free zone. Pension criminals. All law abiding citizens or all law abiding students, faculty and staff of this institu inst institution <laughs> have been disarmed for your convenience. And then which of these signs will not will prevent another tragedy? Tragedy. <laughs> All weapons are prohibited on these pr 
premises or staff heavily armed and trained, any attempt to harm children will be met with deadly force. You tell me. Some of you may think that regardless of laws permitting or prohibiting guns, crimes involving guns still happen. And they do. It's an awful thing, but realistically, there's no way we can ever completely rid the world of crime. So we do our best. While we not, may not be able to prevent crime, we can fight it. I hope I persuaded you to understand that firearms save and protect more lives than they take. And those who take lives are probably illegally owned firearmed criminals. Taking away law-abiding citizens' right to bear arms will only make them naked and defenseless. When a criminal decides to make them a victim, please do not let your Second Amendment rights be lost. While I was speaking, did you notice this gun did not move it up by itself? That's because guns don't kill people. People kill people. Thank you for being here today. And then show you my audience.